Yar, Gavin. Um, do you have any homework to catch up to? Uh, yes, actually, indeed. Right here. Yar, okay, um. Okay, so, let's see. Trevin drew two rectangles below. You wanted to know the difference between the areas of the two rectangles. What is the difference between the two areas? Yar, um. Just get a good look at that. Do you want me to handle this? Uh, sure, Freddy. Alright, so, Gavin, the first thing you need to do is you need to look at it. Uh, okay. So, um, Trevin drew the two rect- Okay. Um, hmm. So, this is actually kind of simple. All you need to do is do 9 times 16 and 12 times 7. It's that easy. Really? Yep. Totally. Okay, well, I'll just um, do that then. Um, so. Yep, just uh, do it. Yep. That sounds good. Um, 16 times 9. I have to do this on two separate run ones. You can do it. Okay. Let's see. Sixteen nine. Oh crap! I didn't do the steps correctly. There we go. Okay, and then 9 times 6 equals 54. And that we equal 144. Excellent work, Gavin. Yep. Alright, and now to do 12 times 7. 7, 10 plus 2. 7 times 10 equals 70. 7 times 2 equals 14. Nice work again, the Gabmeister. High five. Thanks. Yeah, that was that was cringy, but whatever. Okay, so uh, that'd be eighty-four. All right. So no, all you need to do is do one hundred and forty-four minus eighty-four. Okay. Let's see that. Um, hmm, let's see. Um, let's uh, do with zero. Uh, hold on. Six, zero, sixty. The answer is sixty. Okay, we'll just write sixty DM. Thank you, Freddy. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay, I'll just press that. Sweet, we're all on the next side. Guys, I did I did most of the problems um, before I did this video, so yeah. Yep. Alright, can I have a turn? Oh, sure, spring trap. Okay. Um Solve the displayed in the meeting of the remainder. <sighs> Crap. Um, I need to get Gavin. You need to get your uh, other notebook for this. Yep. Hold on. Alright, back. Alright, so, so let's just get to the page. Explaining the meanings of the remainders. Let's see, flip. Uh, no. 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 
let's see. No, no, no. 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 Come on, where is it? No. Um, no. 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 Come on. No. Guys, I think we're almost there. Um, no. I think we're getting close, though. Uh, no. Come on, where is it? How do you sort your things? Um, I just do it in order. <sighs> I... No. No. Oh, here it is. Right here. Okay. Let's make sense of remainders. This is what we need. I'll just cancel. There are 43 students at a musical performance. Each row in the auditorium has eight seats. If the students fill each row by row from front to back, how much people are on the last row? Ah, I think I already know. I think there it's supposed to be for the answer. Yep, that's gotta be it. Oh, nice, nice thinking, friend job. Yep. All right, let's, let's write this down. Yeah, let's, uh, let's do one. Uh, remembering. All right. 43, um, all right, so, this is easy, all I have to do is just 43 divided by 8, okay, 43 divided by 8 equals, now let's count, okay, so, it's 5, I forgot how we're supposed to do this. Um, let's see. Uh, so, five, right? Five. Hmm. Uh, um, how do we do this? So, 43 divided by 8 is 5, right? Um, so if it's 5, then, um, do it there. <sighs> but guys, I actually literally forgot. We screwed. Um, not exactly. I mean, we can try to think. <sighs> How are we gonna do this? Um, I think we really have to put our brains to it. Yep. <sighs> Freddy, can you come over here? What, uh, what seems to be the problem? We're, uh, we're having trouble with this. Oh, 43 divided by 8? Yeah, that's 5. Yep, but... 
What do we do? Do we do five or minute five? Hmm. Um, no. Um, let's see here. So, um, if you guys got 40 there, shouldn't you, like, put a, shouldn't it be, like, five remainder three or something? I think you just might be right. You got it. Okay, I'm just gonna do that. Five or three. Okay, um. So we're just gonna write down five or three. Three. need to do two, two, um, ready, um, I think it'll be your turn, oh yeah, okay, number two, let's see, prime or composite, oh yeah, I'm pretty sure, like, prime, uh, hold on, it says recent, Length is too far. No analyze patterns. You yeah, gotta go a little bit uh, back. Um, what are we trying? To... Uh, prime and composite. Oh, wait, yeah, prime, prime and composite numbers. Practice of factors. Wait a minute. Um, I I don't see anything. This is the definition of prime and composite. Hold on. Um, no, no, no. I think this is it, but I just can't find it. Uh, um, maybe it's further back. I uh, keep checking. No. Maybe you just didn't even write it down. Yeah, that could be. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure prime means that um, it, can, it can only be with one times, I think. Yeah, I think you're right. Okay, well, um, so, um, 49, let's see, what can go to 49? So, she wants us to draw a t-shirt, or t, not t-shirt, a t-chart. Okay, let's see what else. Um, no, not two. Can three work? No, four, three won't work. 
I don't four well either. Hold on, let me try four. Yep, four won't work. Five definitely won't work. Um, six. No. Seven. Nine. Yes, it is composite. So seven times seven equals forty nine. Okay, so this is composite. Spot foot. All right, spring trap is your turn now. All right, uh, see thirty one. So uh, let's get a three. Thirty one, one, thirty one. Oh crap! Not thirty eight. Okay, um, let's see. Maybe three will work. Nope, three won't work. Four? Nope. Five? Nope. Six? Nope. Seven? Nope. Eight. Nope. Nine. Nope. All right. So, it is prime. Alright, now, Foxy's your turn. Number four. Yar! Okay. Um, so. Let's, uh, let's do 17. 17. Um. Okay. Um, so, two, no, three. No, four, no, five, no, six. No, seven, no, eight, no, nine, nope, all right, it's prime. All right, Freddy, Freddy's your turn, today number five. All right, Spring Trap, you have to do the hard one. Dang it. Sorry. Okay. Um, the perimeter of a positive stamp is 90 millimeters. The longer side of the stamp is 25 uh, millimeters. What is the length of the shorter side? Let's think about this. Hmm. So 25 plus 25 equals 50. 20 plus 20 equals 40. So it's 20. So let's write that down. So 25 plus 25 equals 50. And um, 20 plus 20 equals 40. 40 plus 50 equals 90. So to, to do this, I need to write down the shorter side, and that would be 20 millimeters. Oh, the right mind would even, would even measure that, unless they're like crazy about math, but still. All right, spring drop, here comes the hard one. Oh, come on, okay, fine. Wow, already like 20 minutes, okay. Um, the directions for lemonade said they put Two cups of the liquid concentrate into one gallon of water. If Olivia only wants to make one pint of lemonade, how many fluid ounces of concentrate should she use? So, I'm pretty sure that one cup is like 
eight ounces. Or sixteen. Hold on. Eight or sixteen. Um by the way, Foxy. Yar. Okay. Um. Eight ounces. 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 So let's just write down a six here. Hey, two cups of liquid concentrate. Pine illuminated. To one gallon of water. How many fluid denses of concentrate should you use? So one pint is two cups. So that's the case. How was this stretcher thinking? It should be like a regular problem. Cause you know, um, you know, because I think it's pretty obvious that it's 16, 16, Fluid ounces of concentrate. It's it's that simple. But it says no one gallon of water, which gets me thinking. Huh. Um. It says explain how. Okay. 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 Well, I think it's just 16. Go to 16. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're gonna get this wrong because literally, what? It, 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 it's it's kind of simple. Yeah, true. Okay, um. 16 F L O Z and it's just to explain so let's do that so one cup of water is 8 F L one pint is Two cups. So, um, see, so, two times eight equals sixteen. Hey guys, we're done. Oh, you're sweet. What a note did you sign your name? Alright, let's just um, do this. Guys, we didn't, like, usually this never happens, but we didn't even have to use the second side of this. Oh, cool. Alright. Um, so let's uh, just write down the assignment, which is, um, let's see, Unit 5, Lesson 8, which I'm pretty sure you're moving on to Lesson 6, or Unit 6, right? Yeah, I think so, okay. What is... Okay, that was a little creepy. I heard an airplane flying above us. At this time of the night? Hmm. 
23, 19. Oh yeah, Happy New Year by the way. And what's your name? Well, right now, hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, so I got bored and I didn't know what else to, um, you know, exactly do. I was gonna do a live stream, but I got really nervous, so I just decided to do a regular video. Yep. So I um I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.